Knoxville voters will have a chance to decide on an overhaul to city elections after last night's city council vote. Here's what's happening. Two ordinances will be on the November ballot. The first change that could happen, a referendum that would let voters cast ballots for all city council seats in primary and general elections. Right now, of course, primary races are held only within a given council district. Council member Andrew Roberto proposed a rework which would essentially make all council seats at large. Local NAACP President Reverend Sam Brown spoke in favor of the change, questioning the motives of state lawmakers and asking for council to give voters the chance to choose how they would like to be governed locally. Our state legislature, again, is trying to impose something on us that will limit our choices. I believe that the people in the city of Knoxville may have a misunderstanding of an antiquated narrative of how the different ethnicities that make up the city of Knoxville are represented. Some pushback on the proposal. Nick Cipero, who unsuccessfully ran for Council District 3, noted he won at the district level, but not in the overall city election. Cipero offered a counter argument to concerns about diversity on Council. If you move forward with something like this, it opens the door for the county to do the same. Would you like every single school board member at large in the county? Would you like every county commissioner at large? You will lose for another 50 years. There will not be another Democrat on county commission or any county seat for 50 years. I can guarantee that because it is a 65% majority. Members voted 8 to 1 in favor of putting the at-large for all system before voters in November. The second change would realign 5th District Council elections to happen with the rest of the city, and that will also go to a public vote in November.